Alright, welcome back. We're gonna try and figure out how to install Keycaster so that we can show keyboard strokes on the camera, or at least on, on the screen, uh, when I'm doing these videos for you guys. So I'm opening up a terminal here in Visual Studio Code. I've gone over to the GitHub repository for Keycaster, and I'll have a link to that down below. So I grabbed the installation command for us. So I'll go ahead and copy that in here. Brew install cask keycaster. If you need to know what brew is, I've done a video on how to install it on your Mac. Go ahead and watch that and hit enter. All right, so we're gonna crack open our system preferences. Let's go into security and privacy. We're gonna go down to input monitoring. All right, so I actually don't see it coming up in here. So what I'm gonna do is unlock this. Let's add Keycaster, open, cool. Now it's in there, so I'm going to lock this down again. Let's open up Keycaster from the applications. Hey, it's Jess from the future. So I wanted to show you a little bit about what Keycaster does because yeah, it is a little bit tricky. So I think the thing that tripped me up the most at the very beginning was not understanding how to get it to start capturing. First, open up Keycaster, you launch it. It will come up with this little window here and I'm on the general tab and I think I needed this to be set. So if you just click onto this and I just chose option K because that was an easy one for me to remember. It can be whatever you want. And after you have initialized that, it will start showing up. So I'll move over to the display tab really fast just to show you what my settings are. And this option right here is an interesting one. If you only want those uh, main modifier keys to show up and not everything else that you're typing, you'll want to have this checked. Otherwise, take this off and it will show everything that you're typing in real time. And again, if you want to turn this off, go ahead and use your shortcut key again. And now it should be off. It's not actually showing anything, so I hit option K. So the way I get this ready for a video is I launch this, I hit my option K, and then I'm good to go. Start typing and it'll show up on the screen. And there we go. So now I can display the uh, shortcut keys. A little bit tricky, but there you go. That's how I'm doing that in our future videos. And we'll see you around on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.